Welcome to Everyday Cooking. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please click the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay connected and it is absolutely free. Today let us see 6 easy to do kurma varieties that suits for chapatis and rotis. First is Mirchi Ka Salan. This sesame seeds and groundnut based curry will be very delicious. Do try this at home. First let us prepare the masala. Take quarter cup of groundnut and dry roast them. After roasting the groundnuts, add 1 teaspoon of black sesame seeds. Two teaspoons of white sesame seeds, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, and finally three tablespoons of shredded coconut. Roast everything properly. Our roasting is almost over. Let this cool and transfer this into a mixer jar and make it into a fine powder. Our masala part is over. Set this aside. Take a pan, pour some oil into it, and add six to eight green chilies. If you don't want the curry to be more spicy, just take off the seeds from the green chilies. I have already deseeded them. The chilies have been roasted very well here. We'll take it out. Take some oil along with it. Now set this aside and in the remaining oil add 10 to 15 cashews. To this add one big onion chop. Saute the onions and add 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Add a handful of curry leaves and give a nice saute. It is time to add our masalas now. This is quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of chilli powder and 1 teaspoon of coriander powder. Give a nice mix, saute them well. Add the required amount of salt. And it is time to add our prepared masala now. After mixing the masala as well, add water. If you want the salon to be thick, add less water, otherwise add more water. Now let us close this and cook till the oil loses out. The oil has oozed out well and the salon is also cooked properly. Now it's time to add our green chilies. Add the fried green chilies along with the oil and give a nice mix. The absolutely delicious Hyderabadi Mirchi Ka Salad is ready. Next we will see South Indian style Tomato Curry. For this, take a pan, pour some oil in it. To this add 1 teaspoon of fennel seeds and 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds. Roast this for few minutes. To this add 2 or 3 dry chilies. Fifteen to twenty shallots, and if you don't have shallots, you can use onions, half a cup of onions, and four to five garlic. Now let us add six to ten cashew nuts. Saute everything well. The shallots has to change its color. The shallots has almost changed its color. To this, now you can add half a cup of chopped coconut. 
Let us saute this for around 2 to 3 minutes. This is ready. You can switch off the flame at this stage and let it cool. Now let us transfer this into a mixy jar. Add little water and grind it into a fine paste. Our masala is ready. Set this aside. Pour some oil in a pan. To this add half a teaspoon of mustard seeds and half a teaspoon of urad dal. Let the mustard pop. Now add few curry leaves. One or two green chillies. Give a nice saute. Green chillies will give you a nice flavor to the curry. So saute them for 2 to 3 minutes and then we are going to add the tomatoes. This is 3 big tomatoes chopped. Add the required amount of salt. And 1 by 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder. Now we are going to cook the tomatoes well. We have to cook this till the oil loses out. This is perfect. The oil has oozed out. At this stage add 1 teaspoon of chilli powder. Now it is time to add our grinded masala. Add 1 cup of water along with this. Let us wait till it boils. Once it starts boiling, bring it to medium flame and let this boil for another 10 minutes. The tomato kurma is ready. You can top it with few coriander leaves. This will be a superb combination for rotis and chapatis and you can serve along with idlis and dosas also. Tomato kurma is ready. Next is empty salna. For this pour some oil in a pan. To this add 1 bay leaf, 3 to 4 cloves, a small piece of cinnamon and 1 or 2 cardamom. To this add 2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. Give a nice saute. After sauteing ginger garlic paste, add 2 medium sized sliced onions. Cook the onions till translucent. The onions are perfectly cooked now. To this add 2 medium sized chopped tomatoes. The tomatoes has to be cooked properly so we are going to close this and cook for few minutes. The tomatoes are perfectly cooked here. Saute this we are going to add the masalas. Quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. One and a half teaspoons of chilli powder. And half a teaspoon of garam masala. Saute this till the raw smell goes off. Let us close and cook this for few minutes. By the time we are going to grind some masala for this. Take quarter cup of coconut. To this add 1 teaspoon of fennel seeds. 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds. And 4 tablespoons of fried gram. Add enough water and grind it into a fine paste. By the time our onion and tomato mixture is ready. To this we are going to add our prepared masala. Mix this well and add around 4 cups of water. If you want your gravy to be thick, add less water, otherwise add enough water and make it thin. Bring this to a boil. 
Now add the required amount of salt and give a nice mix. Now let us close this and cook till the oil loses out. The oil has oozed out and our gravy is perfect now. Add some pepper powder to this. Our salna is ready and this will be a perfect combination for any kind of rotis. Next recipe will be mixed vegetable kurma. For this first we will get ready with the masala. Pour some oil in a pan. To this add 2 small cinnamon and 4 to 5 cloves. Few curry leaves. 6 to 7 garlic cloves and a small piece of ginger. Saute this for few minutes. To this let us add 1 tablespoon of coriander seeds. Saute the coriander seeds well, it will take time. The seeds have turned color. Now we are going to add 15 to 20 shallots. If you don't have shallots, you can use a big size onion. Add 2 or 3 dry chilies. We are going to add chilli powder also. So add this accordingly. Finally add quarter cup of coconut and give a nice saute. Everything has fried well. Let us transfer this into a mixy jar and we are going to add a little water and grind it into a fine paste. Our masala is ready. Set this aside. Take a pan. Pour some oil. To this add few curry leaves. Now let us start adding the vegetables. This is one medium sized potato chop. Give a saute. These are carrot beans and cabbage and approximately 1 cup combined. To this add the required amount of salt and saute everything for few minutes. Next let us start adding the masalas. 1 teaspoon of chilli powder, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder and 1 tablespoon of coriander powder. Give a nice saute. Next we are going to add the tomatoes. Two medium sized tomatoes chopped. Before adding the masala we have to half cook this. So close it with a lid and cook for few minutes. The vegetables are ready. It is half cooked now. Now it's time to add our masala. Now add a cup of water and bring it to a boil.
Boil this for another 5 to 10 minutes. Our kurma is ready. Top it with coriander leaves. Our next recipe will also be a mixed vegetable kurma, but it is a restaurant style South Indian veg kurma. For this, we need around 2 to 3 cups of mixed vegetables. I have used potatoes, carrots, beans, and cauliflower. You can also use some other vegetables. Add the vegetables in a pressure cooker. Add 2 cups of water and the required amount of salt. Now, pressure cook this for 3 whistles. So, our vegetables are ready. Set this aside. Next, we are going to prepare the masala. For the masala, we need half a cup of coconut, 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon of fennel seeds, 1 teaspoon of poppy seeds, that is couscous, and 4 cashews. Add little water and grind them into a fine paste. So, masala is ready. Next, pour some oil in a pan. To this, add a bay leaf. Chop a big sized onion and add into this. Add a handful of curry leaves and saute this for about a minute. After sauteing this, lightly add a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Saute this for few minutes and chop and add a big sized tomato. The tomatoes has to get cooked well, so saute them properly. Now let us add the masala powders, 1 teaspoon of coriander powder and 1 teaspoon of chilli powder. You can adjust the chilli powder according to your taste. The raw smell of the masalas has to go off, so saute them properly. Sauteing is over, now add the grinded masala. Add half cup of water along with this. We have to cook this properly, so close this and cook till oil oozes out. This is after 3 minutes, the oil has oozed out. Now I am adding half a teaspoon of garam masala. Give a nice mix. Add the required amount of salt. Masala part is over. Next, let us add the vegetables along with the water. Adjust the water according to the consistency. If you find it less, just add more. Bring it to a boil. Let this boil in a medium flame for about 5 minutes. This is ready. Finally, we are going to add quarter cup of curd. Keep it in a low flame and then add curd. Mix as well. Let this be on the flame for about a minute in a medium flame. Our South Indian restaurant style vegetable kurma is ready. Next, we'll move on and do green peas kurma. I'm going to use a cup of dried green peas. Soak this overnight and add some salt and pressure cook this for 4 to 5 whistles. This is ready. Set this aside. Now pour some oil in a pan. To this chop and add a big sized onion. This is nearly a cup. Sort in onions for few minutes and then add one and a half tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. Saute the ginger garlic paste well. The raw smell has to go off. For the spiciness, I'm going to add green chilies. I'm adding two green chilies. If you want, you can add more. Next is the tomatoes. One big sized tomato chop. Next, we'll add all the masala powders. One and a half tablespoons of coriander powder, one teaspoon of garam masala, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of cumin seeds and the required amount of salt. Saute them for few more minutes and let it cool. Now, add them in a mixy jar. Add a little water and grind it into a fine paste. So, the paste is ready. Now, pour some oil in a pan. 
to this add a few curry leaves and the grinded masala let us add some water along with this around a cup Give a nice stir and add the cooked green peas. Once the kurma starts boiling, it will get thick. So adjust the water accordingly. If you find it thick here, add some extra water. Bring it to a boil and let this boil for around five minutes in a medium flame. This is ready. Hope you liked all the kurmas and salnas. All these recipes can be cooked quickly and by the same time, it will taste so so delicious. Here the green peas kurma is ready. Top it with some coriander leaves and finish it. Hope the video is useful. We'll join you in another interesting recipe and don't forget to subscribe our channel.